Hello everybody, it's me Yoshi Dash Media and welcome back to another video. And this is for um, getting me to 1,000 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody that you know got me to that you know girl. Honestly, I never thought I'd get that far. Honestly, like I hit a thousand subscribers before on my other channel, which has content that isn't really for kids, but this content's for kids. And because of that, <laughs> you know we've hit a thousand again. So that's amazing. Honestly, thank you guys so much. So um, to celebrate. I'm going to be showing you all my top 10 favourite VHS tapes of all time. Now, there's also some honourable mentions at the end of this video as well, which I'll show you. Basically, you know, it's VHS tapes that are in the top 10, and there are some that I really, really like that I could have shown, but honestly, I couldn't fit into the list. So, you know, there's just, it's just that, basically. So, um, you know, so I picked out 10 VHS tapes that I like, and I've picked out four honourable mentions that, you know, I also liked as well. And, you know, we're going to get right into the video, and um, onto this list was very hard to put out, honestly, because, like, there is a lot of VHS tapes that I own that I really, really like, but I think these ones have just been to list. Now, the list may change, you know, time by time, but this is for now, so, um, you know, so let's just get right into the video, shall we? So, my 10th favourite, so number 10, we have the very best of Thomas and Friends. Now, this is number 10 because, you see, as you can see, it says the very best of Thomas and Friends, so, you know, it means the very best of him. And to me, it actually is. This is like my favourite Thomas and Friends VHS, mainly because, well, you see, it's got it's got a lot of really, really good episodes, and they're in a very good order as well. Honestly, they're in a very, very good order. And um, you know, I do like how um, it shows you know images from um, the episodes and all that. It's got VCI in it, and um, it's it's a it's a perfect VHS, honestly. Um, it released by um, VCI and Ghislaine. on DVD. It released by VCI and Entertainment. I'm pretty sure there's a re-release copy from um, his time as well, but this is, you know, a copy of Gillian, obviously. Yeah. And there's, and there's a pretty quite inside side for um, other stuff that Gillian also made. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a perfect VHS, honestly. So if you're a fan of Thompson French, you know, you can get this on VHS or you can get it on DVD, honestly. It's a very, very good one. This is like the perfect VHS for me, honestly. It's, it's good, honestly, it's great. Alright, so up in number 9, we have 007 Golden Eye of James Bond. So, the reason why this is number 9 is because, you see, I do love the James Bond films. Honestly, they're very, very good. But, however, this one is legit the best, honestly. It's got, like, really, really, like, good scenes. And I don't know if I can show this or not, but <laughs> it's got very, very, you know, good you know, cut scenes and stuff. It's um, It's got a very good opening. It's, um, honestly, it's such a good film, honestly. Yeah, and as you can see, it says one of the best Bond movies ever, honestly. It actually um, confirms it all there, as it's one of the best. Yeah, released by MGM and United Artists. You can see, it's such a good VHS. If you haven't watched 007, you're missing out, honestly. I have got a whole box set of DVDs of Gold 9 in my cupboard as well, which I think I showed before. And this actually has two covers as well. Yeah. But to be honest, I prefer this one more. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a very, very good VHS, honestly. If you haven't watched GoldenEye, I recommend you do it, honestly. It's a very, very good film. You'll make sure you're 12 or over to watch it. And, yeah. Unless they've changed the rate into PG, which I don't think they've done. But they might have, you never know. Alright, so up in number 8, we have Pokemon the Movie 3. So, um, Pokemon the Movie 3 um, is a movie about Pokemon, obviously. But I think, to me, this one's the best one. Probably because me, I may have saw this one first in my childhood. Honestly, I thought the Pokemon. I think this is one. Of, this is the one I saw first because I used to watch this a lot. And um, despite that, it's still my favorite Pokemon movie. Honestly, it's very, very good. Honestly, it's got it's got very, very good. You know, sound effects and all that. It's, um, it's got very good scenes. I always like the um, Pikachu and Pichu. You know, little scene at the start as well. Honestly, that was pretty good. It's got um, some good promos as well. It's, it's pretty long opening actually. It's not the longest, but it's one of the longest. And um, yeah, it's from Warner Brothers and all that. And what's also good about this tape is that it actually has a yellow cassette. Well, actually, most Pokemon VHS tapes have a yellow cassette, but um, this one kind of goes well because, you know, it has pretty, like, it has, it has like a purple like, label and all that, which kind of matches um, you know, the cassette and all that. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to read print dates, but you guys can probably, you know, type in comments or whatever. Yeah, it's actually has a leaflet in there as well. Or guide. And, yeah. Honestly, it's a very, very good movie. Honestly, I do love um, all the sound effects and stuff. Honestly, it's such a good film. And the trailers for Pokemon Movie 3 are actually really good as well. So, honestly, if you haven't watched Pokemon and you want to watch the movies, this is the, this is the one to definitely watch. But 
just, you know, make sure you watch the first and second one before you do, actually, because, you know, it could be, like, spoiling some of the movie and all that. But I'm just saying, you know, the third one's normally the best one. All right, so up in number... Hang on, so 10, 9, 8. All right, so up in number 7, we have The Trapdoor, The Pain. And, um, yeah, this is um, Trapdoor. This is uh, basically a VHS called The Pain. Now, this is why my favorite... This is, this is my favorite Trapdoor VHS, because, well, this one, I also saw my childhood, and... It has some very, very good, you know, episodes on it. Honestly, it's such a good VHS. Like, especially the episodes, honestly, they're, they're very, very good. And, um, yeah. If you're wondering why... I don't know why I find them so good, like, honestly. They're just, they're just very, very good episodes, honestly. And it actually, like... This is why it actually fits into this, you know, list. Because it's a very, very good VHS and all that. And, um, yeah, released by Castle Home Video. And, yeah. It's a very, very good VHS. So, if you want to watch Trapdoor for the first time, this is the VHS for you to buy. It's a very, very good one. Yeah, you can get a VHS, but I don't think you can get it on DVD, but if you can, then, well, try and find a DVD of it, but I'm sure the only chance you're watching it is on VHS. Or you can watch it on YouTube, because there's a bunch of episodes of it on YouTube and stuff, but they're in very, like, shit quality, just, just keep that in mind. Alright, so, next up we have, so up in number six, we have the very best of Graham Norton. Now, um, this is... Now, the reason why I like this VHS so much is because, you know, not only do I enjoy the Graham Norton show, but honestly, I do enjoy, you know, the show in general. Honestly, it's a very, very good VHS, honestly. Includes footage never seen on TV. And, yeah, honestly, I do love the Graham Norton show. I especially like this VHS, honestly. The scenes in it are so funny. I was dying with laughter, honestly. Yeah, released by VCI, and I know it says it's very dating, but honestly, you know, I don't care at this point, honestly. I, I don't mind swearing. Oh, by the way, excuse me for him swearing earlier there, but <laughs> but yeah, literally, I I don't really care, honestly. I enjoy this, this program in general, honestly. I don't really care about swearing and all that, honestly. I, I swear in general, honestly. Nothing like Alpha the fan will, honestly. I, 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 honestly, I, I love the Grand Show, honestly. It's, it's such a funny, you know, comedy show. I used to watch it all the time, but I think I stopped when, um... I stopped watching it when, you know, they were doing this, like, live call way. I forgot what it is, but, like... You know, they're doing it in like a way that like they're doing like a call, whatever. The Grand Norton Show, yeah, I got bored of that. And then, yeah, VCI 4 video. And, yeah. I've done the style into this as well, if you want to check it out. I've done the style into a lot of these, actually. Alright, so up in number, um, hang on, so, 10, 8, 8, 6. Alright, so up in number 5, we have Thimble's Pom Pom, featuring Pom exciting new scenes. Now, the reason why this is um, number five, and this is one of my favorite films in the NHS, is because, again, the episodes are very, very good. Honestly, they're very, very good. And um, I do have the songs as well. Honestly, the songs are very, very good. Honestly, I think out of all the films in the tapes, this has got like the best ones, in my opinion. Honestly, it's so good. And um, some scenes here are quite funny as well, honestly. And, um, yeah, honestly, it's, it's such a good VHS, honestly. It's so good. And you know, Pom is very, very cute and all that. And I do like the fact that how they um they made like two thimbles get the thing at the same time in um the last two episodes. I forget what they're called, but um yeah, there was like the scene where um, Pom and Flory get the thimble for something, then Pom and Flory get the on the other one. Yeah. It's such a good VHS. And it's also got black wheels as well. Yeah, I got this for um, Christmas, I think. And there's a note from the seller. He said thank you and all that. And it's also got um. Leaflet, I think. Yeah. From the toys and stuff. And there's another other VHS and DVDs. Let's get the film of in. As a matter of fact, get the film of in is also another honorable mention as well. But I, I forgot to get it out. But never mind. Yeah, film of in was also another honorable mention right there. Alright, so up in number four we have Teletubbies' favourite things. <laughs> it's ironic because this is my favorite title with VHS, isn't it? It's quite ironic. Now, um, why this is my favorite, you may ask? Well, again, it's from my childhood, and um, it's it's got some very very good scenes, especially with you know um, the scene where the last ball goes flying around. So that was hilarious. And I also enjoyed um, you know the kids when they're in the paddling pool. So it's kind of fun to watch when they're doing that. And the bicycle scene where it had that dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Honestly, um, it's a very, very good VHS, honestly. I wish this scene was on DVD. Apparently, you can get on DVD on the um, Chinese box set, but 
you know, that's all the way from China, so, you know, if you were to order it, it would take a while to get here. So, the only chance of you watching it, you know, from the UK and all that is either on VHS or you can go look up on YouTube. Honestly, I think there are tons of people that upload on YouTube. And, um, yeah. And, uh, uh not the Ragdoll logo. <laughs> well, actually, that's the old one, so it's not really the one we're avoiding. Yeah, it's also from BBC Video. And there's the tape. I used to watch this, like, especially my childhood as well, but, like, my old copy was, um, was sold on eBay by someone. I don't know who, but... Someone sold it without me knowing. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a very, very good special. I'm going to have it now. Once I'm so glad to have it now. Once it's one of my favorite specials. It's definitely the best. All right, so up in number three, we have The Land Before Time. Now, um, Land Before Time is an old film from CRC Video and Universal. And the reason why this fits into the list is because, well, it is quite an emotional film, let's just say that. So, um, you know, if you were to watch, you might get some box tissues and all that, but to me, it is a very, very good film from um, Steven Spielberg, honestly, it's, it's such a good film. In my opinion, one of the best Steven Spielberg films I've seen in a long time, honestly, it's so good, literally. Literally, like, you know, the dinosaurs in it, you know, they're kind of cute and all that. Sarah is, you know, Jack's like Rainbow Dash and all that, but as a matter of fact, this this pro this film is about friendship and all that, isn't it? So it's kind of like him, but dinosaurs and all that. Which, a matter of fact, dinosaurs remind me of Yoshi and all that, so that's, you know, 2 on one kind of. And, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very, very good film, honestly. It's not my childhood, but, um, it is still a very good film as well. It's also from The Crows of American Tale, which American Tale is also not all mentioned, I've got to put there as well, so apologies for that, but still. So, Lemon Full Time is a very, very good film, honestly. If you haven't watched it, I recommend you do, but just keep in mind that a lot of scenes in it might be pretty sad, but... It's a very good film though, honestly. You, you might enjoy it for your childhood's sake and all that. And, yeah. Alright, so up in number two we have Kipper Christmas Eve and other stories. So um, this is like, in my opinion, the best Kipper VHS and the reason why it's because, and again, the episodes, <laughs> very, very good. Well, it's got some very good promos at the start as well and it's got a hit video logo. It's got a rare one at the end as well. And it's, um, and you know, the episodes in it are very, very good, especially the Magic Lamp. Honestly, that episode was, like, amazing. Because, like, you know, they went into this, like, magical, like, area of the house, and they went on this, like, you know, roller coaster and all that. And, um, it had some very good sound effects on some episodes as well. And, you know, Christmas Eve, you know, is about a time when, um, Kipper actually tries to think of what's better than Christmas Day, because, like, you know, if you're expecting presents, you, you think that's better. As a matter of fact, that's what actually got me into thinking Christmas Eve was better. <laughs> Some of you might think, well, Christmas Day is better, because you have your open presents. Well, no, if on Christmas Eve, you know, you get excited and you expect presents to come over, but when, you know, Christmas Day appears, after you open them, you've lost the excitement, because <laughs> there's no more to look forward to. So, you know, that's why I'm thinking Christmas Eve's better now. This VHS just got me into Christmas Eve, so that's useful. And... You know, it's such a good VHS, honestly. In my opinion, the best good VHS I've seen in a long time. In the past, this was number one, actually, is my favourite, but... Oh, you saw a spoiler there. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of you guys know that now, number one... As this VHS appeared, this became number one. So, so ladies and gentlemen, for number one, as my favourite VHS of all time, I give you guys... Sooty's Elastic Tricks. I'm sure some of you thought it might have been this VHS because you saw a spot over there, but yeah, this is my number one favourite VHS of all time. And you're probably asking why is it my favourite? Well, I'll explain it to you. So, um, and again, the episodes are very, very good. But <laughs> there is a I can explain why they're very, very good, honestly. So with Sue Spring Clean, it's not the best, let's just say that, but it does have um some pretty funny scenes in it. Um, I think that's the episode where um, they were getting rid of that like, rubbish at the end as well. I thought that scene was pretty satisfying. Sue's Lasted Tricks is the best episode in my opinion, honestly. It's such a good episode because, you know, Sue does a bungee jump and, you know, the elastic pranks and all that. Honestly, I thought that was hilarious. Honestly, it was, it was really, really funny. And Home Alone Sweep, I don't know why, but I find this episode really, really fun to watch. You know, when Sweep is alone, he's doing these things that no one else is noticing and... <laughs> I also liked it when Matthew, you know, gets covered in paint at the end. Honestly, I thought that was hilarious. And um, and there's a very, very good VCI promo at the start of the tape as well, which I find pretty interesting. So, yeah. Honestly, and that's, yeah, and that again, it's released by VCI, my favorite company. So, yeah, and this confirms to be my number one favourite VHS of all time. Honestly, it's the best VHS I've seen in a long time, honestly. 
There's very good episodes, very good promos, very good scenes, and just, you know, it is def it's the perfect Sooty VHS for me, honestly. It's great. Honestly, it's in my opinion the best Sooty VHS I've seen. And the best VHS of all time. And now, for some honorable mentions that basically, you know, show VHS tapes that I would have shown, but they couldn't fit into the list, so unfortunately they're honorable mentions. So, um, so for the first honorable mention is, um, from Airport Adventure. Now, um, this VHS was good to me because, well, oh, not the logo, <laughs> because, you see, the episodes on here were pretty good, actually. Like, Airport Adventure, you know, it was fun to watch when we was at the airport and Brum, you know, saving the dog on Naughty Dog. I thought that was pretty interesting. Brum the Pizzeria, I'm not really the biggest fan of, but it's still a good episode to me. Brum the Gymnast was very, very good, honestly. I thought it was actually quite funny when um, the hoop was, like, spinning around on the policeman. Honestly, I thought that was hilarious. Brown the King of Thieves is, um, it's not a bad episode, it's I'm quite enjoyable with that one. But the first, you know, Airport Venture, Naughty Dog Gymnast are definitely really, really good episodes, honestly. I've put this VHS into there. And, um, yeah, honestly, it's it's a good VHS to me. It's just from my childhood as well. I used to watch this on DVD from, um, um, the promotional DVD, I'm pretty sure. And there's the tape with the VCI and Rival logo. And what's also cool is that you can see a preview of the map of the, um, big town. Honestly, I thought that was pretty cool as well. Honestly, that's it's, it's, it's a very, very good VHS. Honestly, I, I really like Brum and the Airport Adventure. Honestly, it's such a good VHS. It's a very um, common one as well. Honestly, so you can find it like all over eBay and Amazon. Honestly, it's a very, very common VHS. I think it's very common on DVD as well. And um, the next one we'll mention is um, Rosie and Jim Bumper Special Fairgrounds. So um, this was another mention. Well, you see it. Um, it had some very, very good episodes, especially Fairground. Honestly, Fairground was very fun to watch when it was at the theme park and all that. Yeah, well, the Fairground doesn't what it says there, sorry. Um, yeah, the Steam episode was pretty good. Falcons was pretty good. Yeah, honestly, there was a lot of good episodes in here that were very, very um, interesting to me. Honestly, I really, really liked the VHS. It's quite rare as well, I think. I don't know. It's either rare or odd. I don't know. But, like, I got it on eBay for a very expensive price, so it kind of expensive. So there's the tape with the view collection and some more code and I've got plenty of tapes. You see it's a very very good VHS. This is a special limited edition copy as well, I think. It's up there. So I'm very lucky to have that. I guess. Next I will mention is um Womble's Bungo's birthday party. So the Womble's, you know, I haven't watched it in ages now, but I remember in some of it and thinking how good it is and um, yep, there you go. The One Ball is a very, very good show and sorry for the wear, yeah. I've had this VHS for a very, very long time and that explains that it's my childhood, honestly. It's it's a very, very good VHS, honestly. The episodes are pretty funny as well at some moments, but then again, the episodes are also pretty satisfying and interesting, honestly. It's a very, very good VHS, honestly. In my opinion, it's one of the best One Ball's VHS, VHS tapes I've seen. Honestly, it's so good. And, um, you know, if you haven't watched them before, this is the VHS to definitely, you know, watch and buy and all that. So this is the Playbox copy. Yeah. So it's such a good VHS, honestly. You, you, you're you missing out if you haven't watched Mumbles. And the last I'll mention I've got is um, Tatoobie's Busy Day. So yeah, there are two Tatoobie's VHS tapes I've shown in this video. This is the second one. This one is an I'll mention. Yeah, this is Busy Day. And now, the reason why... Um, this one is um, an all mention because, um, well, you see, I saw this on the time for Tato with DVD, which I had in my childhood as well. And um, honestly, some of the scenes that were very, very good, you know, when the Tommy Custer gets flooded, I thought that was <laughs> pretty funny, but also interesting. Um, I, I, I found it very, very funny when Lara tried to sleep in bed with the ball, but she kept like, she couldn't like fit in with it. Honestly, that was hilarious. And, um, I do like some of the um, the TV scenes with the children and all that. Honestly, I thought they were pretty interesting as well. And, yeah, it's a very, very good VHS. And there's a rag dog at the end that freaking scared the sh shite out of me because it was loud. And um, and also, not only that, but this VHS also comes with a blue cassette as well, which is pretty cool. Honestly, Happy Weather Stories is also blue as well, but I don't really have that yet. But um, I should have it sometime soon. Yeah, and there's another for the VHS tapes and DVDs as well. There was a copy of a black cassette, but I thought like, nah, I'm not getting that copy. That one's just too boring. I'm just getting the, so I had to get the blue cassette one, which cost more money, but it was definitely worth getting because you know, a for blue cassette is very, very rare or very odd. Honestly, it's pretty odd. So you know, it's good to have that. 
And yeah, that is pretty much my top 10 favorite VH tapes of all time. So let me know what VH tapes you guys like the most as your top 10, because I would really, you know, love to um, know what your favorites are and all that. If you do, I'll probably heart your comment if you guys want me to. And um, yeah, honestly, thank you all for um, watching. Please subscribe, peace out, think for yourselves, and um, yeah, be sure to let me know.